following the hashtag answers protest that rocked Nigeria for weeks, the governments have claimed that they will consciously begin working towards a change, and why some judicial panels have been set up to investigate police brutality, corruption, and the extrajudicial killings by the police. The government's actions outside of that seems to be opposing demo democracy and the rights of many Nigerians. Just few days after the protest, debates around freedom of speech and expression have been all over the media. Also, there have been several attempts in regulating social media with several politicians subtly and actively pushing for the social media bill. And now, there are reports of targeted restriction of movements and freezing of bank accounts of those who, have, who gave distinct support to the hashtag answers protest. The Punch has reported that Banks informed some hashtag answers promoters that the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, had directed that their accounts be frozen. The Punch reports further that the account of a Basi Israel, who was responsible for the hashtag answers medical team in Port Harcourt, according to Basi, his accounts had remained frozen since October 15th. <laughs> okay. Um, Professor Oshibajo and Buari, you said you have heard us, you have heard us loud and clear, and you began to align yourselves with some of our demands by disbanding SARS. Why then are you unjustly placing restrictions on accounts of people? What then was your original intention of calling us for a dialogue? <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, Inem Eyibo uh, tweeted this from uh, the Twitter accounts of a uh, New uh, punch a newspaper uh, because federal government clamps down on hashtag answers promoters freeze freezes accounts. Hmm. You can imagine. You say you have heard them loud and clear, provoking a second wave of protests, and that is gonna be deadly. I hope Nigeria doesn't become a Libya soon. Government officials and the president of Nigeria are promised to work towards definite change. To admit that there's a need to work towards change is to admit that protesters are well within their rights to protest and demand the things they demanded. So why all the harassment and restrictions on certain people? On Tuesday 3rd, November 2020, it was Nigeria attorney and entrepreneur Modukbe Odile was targeted. She was briefly detained and her passport seized at the airport. Mo, as she is fondly called, stated that the security operative has asked her to go without her passport and reminded her that she was still under investigation. With these actions by the government, it is only it only points to the fact that the Nigerian government have little or no regard for democracy and would say anything to stifle those calling them out for bad leadership. The Nigerian government targeting specific individuals from the hashtag answers protest also comes off as the basic strategies in a dictatorial regime. In fact, it is terrifying. The restriction of information, restriction of movement, the killing of protesters all seem reminiscent of the past military regimes in Nigeria. Maybe this is a symptom of a former military leader who hasn't yet gotten the memo of how a democratic system works. The Nigeria government is positioning itself as less inclined with democracy and more inclined with autocracy, and this is a cause for serious concern. Michael is a dynamic writer who is still uh, doing what he has to do, okay, and always exposing a lot of things that a lot of people cannot really fathom. Well, uh, that is by the way. Uh, most, most importantly, most importantly, you see, you know, for these people to, to act the way they did, they acted the way they acted at a lucky shows that they are they are not ready to do anything and they were just using system or i don't know they were just using tactics to say oh we have heard you you know this issue of her, people will now say oh yes what else do they want they have disbanded SARS, and those people have forgotten that this is this year is not the first first or second or third time they were this they've been disbanding SARS. they were just playing lip service they were not ready to do anything you can imagine and it's, it's unfortunate that uh, the vice president is in this kind of a uh, regime and he cannot talk he cannot speak when people begin to call him out some people say no no leave him alone if you know that, because if i just believe that he loves what is happening if you don't love what is happening then you should resign you cannot tell us uh, um, the next thing you're going to be hearing from him from him is 
Ease of doing business. Ease of doing business. Things that are not doable. Ease of doing business. If we're talking about accountability, they are going to be telling you about uh, the effects of COVID-19, sustainability, all those English that they are just speaking. It, it makes no sense. They shed money, all this uh, money, uh, trade that money and all of that. At the end of the day, where has it landed us? All the money, all this money that they shed, they said they were burying people 10,000 naira. And some people are, were believing it. And some people tell you, ah, oh, it is good. Even PDP did not share money. Now the money that they shared now, has it increased our GDP? Has it increased our economy? Has it been able to sustain people? No, it is the same thing from fire to fire. Of course, uh, that's uh, money they were sharing that time. It was, it's, it's meant for, for, for something and, and, and they got what they wanted and a lot of people fell for that. Those are the things that you're going to be hearing the vice president, uh, vice president speaking. He will just be speaking off what is not even uh, not speaking out of reality. We are talking of what, we, what is happening. He will not say anything. Even during the COVID-19 when people were shouting, you see your man. Unless maybe there's something that uh, he knows that we don't know that is holding him bound because you can't be in, that, in this kind of system and you are comfortable. They say, oh, you have heard them loud. And now, you know, I don't just understand. I just understand it. You know, some people will just be, you know, they will try to be economical or not really economical, to be politically correct. And some people, they don't have that time. They always call him out. They always call him out. A man that has integrity will not be in this kind of regime. Why can't you resign? If you cannot resign, meaning you love what is happening or you are telling us what is happening is the right thing to do. Ah. This is, is, is serious. It shows that they were not ready to do anything. And they are, they are you know, a lion begets lion. Evil begets evil. So all those people that are youth that are always going around, they are keyboard warriors. They don't see anything wrong with all these things that are, are happening. They will come back and be telling you, oh, it is nothing. Oh, the people, they, they are even blaming. <laughs> oh, my God. People will be protesting. They say, you, you don't have the right to protest. You don't have the right. But when you go from places to places to be campaigning, nobody stops you from, uh, uh, from campaigning. But people are protesting and they say this is what they want you to do. And you are telling them that they should stop protesting. Shame on all of them. Oh. Shame on all of them. You have children. You have children. You think you can continue to keep your children, keep them in safe, in safe places and be victimizing other people's children. A lot of people are cursing. A lot of people are cursing. If you are in this, this country and you are comfortable with what is happening, see, if you think you are keeping your children for, for, for the better things, you will not, you, that is, is not by, is by default. You too, you're not going to even enjoy your children. If you feel that uh, it is other people's children that, that, should con that you think that they should continue in, in that suffering, your children, you think you are, you, you, will, not even, you will not even enjoy them. Because I, I, I don't just understand. I, I can't just even fathom it. They are going now we have about freezing people's accounts. Uh, Minister of Interior. They, all of them lie, 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 lie. It is not the, the normal thing now. Aregbe Shola, Raouf Aregbe Shola said, oh, they don't, have, they don't know anything about uh, whether they seize anybody's uh, passport or whatever. They didn't say anything. Now they are seizing somebody's, uh, freezing somebody's account. Onto what? We know all this evil that you guys are playing. And it will not help you. And unfortunately, once I see all of them, say, they look, they're just looking haggard. That is it. They're not even looking fresh. With all the money they're stealing, they're looking wretched. More than even the Nigerians that are even trying to manage themselves. Go and check all of them. Just check all of them. All those people that you think that say, you think they are powerful, they have money. All of them, just look at them. Just, you know them, just look at all of them. They look, they, they look haggard. They look wretched. They are not even fresh. Just like the Bible says that there's no peace for the wicked. You cannot continue in this kind of a thing and be covering, be covering and be economical with the truth. You see black at their old age, they will call it white. After all of them, they have embarrassed themselves left, right and center. Oh, we were not there. We didn't send army. Oh, people did not die. They came back and began to, to confess like witch. After they have done all the... the they, they have said, after embarrassing themselves, the AGF again coming out to say, oh, those who went there, <laughs> they, are, they were hoodlums that went to, that carted away with a police uniform or army uniform. You can imagine. And you guys cannot even, you are not even ashamed of saying it. I don't think there's any respect left or dignity left for these people. Now see what they are doing. And that was why they said, we don't have leader. Like somebody asked, so all those things that you say you want to dialogue, dialogue, it's just for them to pin you down. They've just pinned them down. Now they know that they cannot hold anybody now. They are not looking for 
all of the all the people who have participated you see that these all these people they enjoyed they enjoyed this country they enjoy good education and see see them now see them now all those people that enjoy free education in those days in the time of our our lower now instead of them to replicate the OT, no they are sitting down on it say nobody hi this is a shame oh. of course you know when you don't even when you are just confused you just begin to speak what you don't even understand honestly